My name is Megan Ahrens, and this is Paul Group. We will be demoing ServiceNow's new vaccine management application. When you log in, you will get sent to this landing page. You'll see that I don't have any upcoming appointments scheduled at the moment, but when I do, this is where they will be. If you want to book an appointment, click the big book appointment button. And you'll be sent to the request for vaccination form. Your user information will be auto-populated and then it populates a program as a COVID-19 vaccination. When you click into the preferred center, it'll show you all of the centers that are associated with that program. So I'm going to choose Santa Clara County Fairgrounds Expo Hall. I'm going to choose my age group. I'm an adult. I don't have any allergies. I have not fainted. And I'll just say no to everything. Okay, so now that all of my information's filled out, all of this stuff is configurable. I'm going to submit it. And then I will get my request is in process and I will receive an email. So let me show you this email real quick while we're waiting for it to process. You'll be sent an email that'll tell you your first scheduled vaccination, your appointment start date and end date, the location, your appointment code, and then you will also have a link to be able to manage it in the service portal over here. So it'll send you actually, you reload, it will send you to your manage appointment page when I click here. But first I wanna talk about your upcoming appointments. It'll tell you all of your information here, your first dose and your second dose. If you click into manage appointment, this is extra information and you can change your appointment time here. So say this doesn't work for me, I'd rather do tomorrow around noon, select it. And now you've requested to change your appointment time. I'm gonna hand it over to Paul to show you the back end. Thank you, Megan. All right, so what I'm looking at is the agent workspace and service now. So in agent workspace, you'll have what they call vaccination tasks. So you can see here, we have different people that have requested to get vaccinated. And I've got it sorted here by the appointment start. So I can kind of have a calendar view of what's going on and what's coming up. And you can see here, we have one for Megan that she had just submitted. And you also can see her second dose down here you know, set up for the 25th of February. So it'll automatically set up and that's configurable to say, you know, if every vaccine requires two doses, if some require one dose, and you know, if this gets used for something outside of COVID. So it'll kind of show you it's going to go ahead and schedule both appointments so that way if you want to come back and schedule the second one. So let's say we click into this record. And from here, we will see, you know, all the details, the appointment start, appointment ends, the vaccination center, who it's for. And then as you saw in the email that was shown, there was that identifier code. So that code is here, but that's going to be really valuable to validate you have the right person. Obviously, you don't want to be injecting a vaccination in the incorrect person. So if they bring that code with them, show you in the email, you'll be able to validate, yes, this is the right person. You can see the current state is it's scheduled and we're doing the first dose. So what you can do is come in here, go ahead and assign it to yourself to kind of say, hey, I'm going to be the one administering this dose. And then you can see the free questionnaire questions that they filled out. So age, if they have any allergies, any reaction in the past, history, all that kind of information that's important for the person administering the vaccine to give them information that they'll you know, be prepared for post-vaccination and to catch any kind of medical condition that you know maybe we don't want to complete the vaccine at this time. So you have the additional comments here and also the work notes that you're typically used to. So we can go ahead and put a okay, vaccine. And then here you have a couple different options. You can hit, you know, just save. Can cancel the appointment, you know, for some reason, if they're calling in and you need to cancel it, you can say, hey, it's been completed. And then there's also a, you know, if they just don't show up at their scheduled time, you can mark it as a no-show. So there's a track record that, hey, you know, it wasn't a cancellation, they just didn't show up. So we can go ahead and mark this as completed. 
And you'll see here the vaccination task has now been completed. And then I can pass it back over to Megan real quick, and she can show you, you know, what it looks like for the second scheduled appointment from the portal view. If you go back to the homepage, you'll see that you now have an upcoming appointment for your second dose of the vaccination. You can do the same thing here and manage your appointment, change the scheduled date, and you can see your past appointments that you've gotten your first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Perfect. Thank you, Megan. Hope you guys enjoy. This is a pretty awesome app that ServiceNow has recently released. And make sure to check out our other YouTube videos while you're here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.